swing trading, ladies and gentlemen, is defined as the process of buying a stock and trading it before a year is up. Whereas, you know, day trading is you buy a stock today and you sell it before the day is up. Well, I'm going to give you guys my two best swing trades that I've done last week and this week. The first one is this little thing right here. Arrow, ladies and gentlemen, A-Y-R-O. As you can see, I bought that stock for $2.88 and I got 200 share. It ended today, ladies and gentlemen, $10 and some change. And I'm about to get up out of it. I will be getting up out of it. That's called a swing trade. And there's great opportunities in the EV space. That's in the EV space. Take a look at that one. The other one that I'm swinging is Roku. And I just got this one today. I bought in at 272.43 a share and I got 100 shares. And ladies and gentlemen, this stock ended today at 277.85, something to that effect, all in one day. You add those two numbers up, that's $2,000 in a day. That's the power of swing trading. Getting in, getting out. Larry, what are you eyeballing to swing trade? Yeah, I'm uh I need to figure out when I'm gonna get out of a couple of these stocks I'm in because I've I've picked a few a few really good winners here. Let me pull up my uh let me pull up my T D account there. But some of them that I some of them that I've that I've actually um that I picked have done really, really well. Like my XPEV, that E uh E P or X P E V. X Ping. X Ping, yeah, I bought that at uh twenty three dollars. And they closed Good. today at 74.55. So look at the move. And, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, me and Larry was telling you guys about that IPO. We told you about the LI IPO, LI Motors, XP Motors. We've been sitting here helping you guys make them life gains from March till now. Some of y'all probably rich by now. And, and Larry <laughs> riding the wave too. So what you gonna do with that XP, Larry? I I don't know, man. Part of me is like I want to take profit on it, but part of me is like I just want to hold on it and see what it does. So I mean, I don't have a lot. I only have thirty shares of it, but I'm thinking maybe I sell like fifteen. I mean, even at this point, it says the market value of it's twenty two hundred dollars on my shares on my thirty shares, and I only paid you know, I only paid I think seven hundred bucks for it. So for the thirty, so I mean at I could tell I could sell half of it and get my money out. That's what I mean, you I don't even need do. to sell half to get my money. I could sell like I think I could sell probably five or seven shares or something like that and get my money out and then that's, just let the rest of it ride. That's what you should do. Sell enough shares to get your equity back and then go then go jump on something else that's growing too, Larry. That's how you make them gains in the stock market. Get them gains, yeah, baby. Get them There's games. a couple like uh like your li that you were mentioning. I bought them, but I only bought ten shares of them. I bought them at fifteen bucks, and they're at forty five now. Uh, tell, another tell one which I Neo. Another one that I brought oh up to God. you, yeah, Candy, which I brought, which, which I bought. I bought a hundred shares of them at, at eight bucks at eight fifty four, and they're up today at to sixteen thirty six. So. I have no I have no I have no plans to get out of candy. I'm in with them for the long haul. I think candy's gonna be a big winner soon because candy has uh they have um they have EV cars that are very inexpensive. Like they have EV cars that are coming in there at the price. Like I don't know for, for you old heads like us, you may remember when Hyundai first came to the market and they were cheap. I mean, mm -hmm. back then you could buy a brand new Hyundai Excel, I think it was for like Thirty nine ninety five. Yeah, it was, I mean, crazy. it was crazy cheap, and people were buying the heck out of them because if you were a if you were a kid who needed a first car, or if you were fresh out of college and you had a, a you had a low paying job but you needed to get to work, you can get a brand new car that would work. It may, it may not if at the time they weren't the most reliable. No, I mean it may have ran for two crazy. three years and then started to break down on you. No, but. If you had that car for three years, that's a thousand dollars a year for that car that you for the cost of ownership before it just died on you, maybe or or maybe like thirteen hundred bucks. But basically, it was a good enough car to get what to do what you wanted to do. And Candy is coming in that same space with low price EV cars at like seventy nine hundred bucks. 
eight hundred, you know, eight thousand dollars. They're less than ten thousand dollars with the tax credits that you get for them. And so, I'm excited about that because I think a lot of people that would like to have an electric vehicle, but just don't want to spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on a really high end electric vehicle. I think this is going to be a way that a lot of people can get in on it. So, right. And ladies now, and gentlemen, on Wednesday. I'll give you guys my hot list of all the stocks that most of the stocks I have in my portfolio that are having great growth now and are going to have growth when the economy is open back up and people are taking their vaccines. Got a, I got a bunch of them we're messing with right now, especially now, dealing with stock renewables. I'm a little salty on you about because I, when I first brought it up to you, you said, nah, nah, don't get it. It's too, you know, you don't really make any money off these low price stocks. And mm -hmm. that one is DPW. DPW is a is a holding company. They do um, they do uh, EV charging stations, okay. and they just announced that they're made that they that they signed a deal with a number of big chain restaurants to put in EV charging um, um, stations in the parking lots at a number of these big chain restaurants. And their stock went up today from like two dollars and something up to five to seven dollars they had a they had a five dollar jump today in their stock so well, when i did, mean when did you hear about that news when about the stock jump up the oh just just uh just today i just heard about it today i when i opened up my that's one of those stocks i kind of been following and right. i should have jumped on it earlier because when i saw it earlier when i first saw the jump it was at like it was at like 350 or something like that or 370. It was up barely like a dollar when I first saw it. And I was like, yeah, it's going to go up probably a dollar or something. And then it's going to just hold. And it went up five. I should have bought it right when I saw it moving like that and then just let it ride and got rid of it. I should have bought, I mean, even if I bought a hundred shares and it went up another dollar, I still would have made a hundred bucks. But this, I mean, I could have bought a hundred shares at three something and I would have, you know, I would have made, you know, I would have made a couple hundred bucks by the end of the day. So, I mean, it started the day range on this. It was, it started, it started at, um, it opened up the, it opened up at like, um, 305. It act, it went down at one point to 275 and then it went all the way up to 793 and it, it went back down and closed at 719. So, I mean, it, that thing was moving today. It was, it was moving. I wouldn't be surprised to see if it gets up and moves again tomorrow. So. Well, then. You can get up there and you can buy it tomorrow and jump out. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm seriously thinking about it. You, you could always do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll bring you guys a, a list of some other stuff I'm looking at. There are some, um, like I said, there are some plays I've got in the EV space. There are some um, computing plays. There are semiconductor plays. I'm kind of got a lot of, a lot of, um, diversification in my portfolio, things I'm looking at, and your I've even planter, got some... your Planter moved today. Yeah, yeah. They moved I mean, your... he's been telling me about a stock called Planter, which I just been I've been hard headed on, just haven't want to get in on for some reason, and it moved today two dollars and eighty nine cents. So I mean, a hundred shares of that would have put me at you know an almost you know two hundred eighty nine dollar gain if I would have yeah. if I would have got in earlier. And so... I I told Larry about them when they first hit the market at $9 when I jumped in and I'm still sitting on my shares that I bought in at nine bucks. Yeah. I think, and I want to say, I've even mentioned it up here too, because they was one of the companies that didn't go through that BS mess where they give it to private investors first so that when it hits the uh, retail market, you basically are funding the private investors because they take all their money and yank it on out. Then you've got to wait a couple of weeks for the stock to go back up. Plantier didn't do that. They just yeah. came out. The, the price is what it is, and we'll wait for you guys to bid it on up.